guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous 40s. And um, a few videos back, I did a review on that straight brush product, that as seen on TV straight brush, and it worked out pretty well for me. And I had mentioned in that video that one of the ways that I style my hair regularly is with the InStyler. And somebody had made a comment that they would like for me to do a video on the InStyler. So, you know, I just thought to myself, you know, I've been using my InStyler for years, years and years. It's my favorite hair product ever, my favorite hair styling tool ever. And it just never crossed my mind at all to ever do a video on the InStyler because it's just something that I just naturally use. So I thought, hey, sure, I'll do a video. That's a pretty good idea. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to show you guys how I use my InStyler. Now you have to forgive mine. Mine is, like I said, I've been using it for years and it is old and it is kind of raggedy, but you guys will get the gist of it here. Now what the InStyler is, is the InStyler is one of these um, styling tools that will straighten or will give you a little bit of a curl. Now you can't curl curl, but it'll give you a little bit of a curl. It'll give you a little bit of volume if you want some volume. Um, it's got a brush here. Now it's hot, so I'm going to try really hard not to touch the barrel. The barrel gets really hot. It's got a brush here that allows you to brush through your hair as you're straightening or curling. And as you clamp it closed, the barrel spins. Okay. I see how that's spinning. And mine, sorry, mine's like, there's supposed to be a little orange cap right there. Mine's missing the little cap. Now, when I got this years ago, it was like $119. I think they're down to like $89 or $99 now, but now they come in, I think, pink and purple. So they come in some different colors now. This is actually one of the very first original ones that came in the orange, and I'm still using it, and it's been years. So loving this thing. All right, so when you go to use the InStyler, what they tell you is before you use it, do not put any product on your hair. Now, I do put a heat protectant on my hair, but not right before I use it. I'll put a heat protectant shine spray on my hair, and then I'll put maybe just a little bit of volumizing gel just by, by my roots, and then I'll blow dry. But then before I go to use this, I actually don't put anything on my hair. Now this, I've got it on the highest setting. I believe, I'm not sure, don't take my word on this, but I'll put it down below, but I believe the highest this goes up to is 450. I'll leave a little blurb down below here for sure because I, I honestly don't remember. Um, I put it on the highest setting, which is the three lights. Okay, clicked it one more time. It goes to two lights, which is a medium setting, and then one light is the lowest setting, and then off. So I'm going back to the highest setting. And with this thing, you really want to make sure, and this is a big, big thing because. Um, I have gotten my hair kind of knotted up before, so you have to be really careful. And you really want to make sure that when you are um, styling your hair with this, that you are, how can I word it? You are going in, that your, your hair is going in the same direction as the barrel is spinning. And what I mean by that is, if I look at this, okay, the barrel is spinning this way. So if I put this in my hair and flip it, Okay, now it's spinning this way, it's going to kick my hair out. So it's just going to take my hair and it's going to kick it right out of the roller. So you want to make sure that if you are curling this way and the barrel spinning this way, well, what's going to end up happening is your hair is going to get kicked right out of that barrel. So you want to make sure that, like I said, that your hair is going in the same direction as the barrel is spinning. Okay, and I'll give you guys a good example as I start doing this. Now, this does, because I have it on the highest setting, um, this does tend to smoke a little bit when I use it. Don't let that bother you. Um, I'm used to it. It doesn't seem to ever fry my hair when it does that. Um, it just, it just kind of does. I don't know why it does. Maybe it's that heat protectant that's causing it to smoke. But um, on the lower settings, it still it smokes a little bit too. So yeah, don't let the the smokiness scare you with this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do. So I'm going to run a brush through my hair. Okay, you always want to run a brush through your hair before you use this. And I don't even section my hair off when I use this. And this is going to be kind of interesting because I'm trying to do this in the viewfinder. I have a mirror in front of me too, but um, I have a feeling. Let me adjust my mirror. I have a feeling that this is going to be very difficult since I'm not in the bathroom in front of my big mirror. But Alright, so I'm just running the brush through my hair. 
and I'm going to start on this side over here. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to do this side piece so you guys can actually see what I mean by, you know, it puts a little bit of wave or a little bit of something, something on the end of the hair there. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now I'm going to show you guys when I do this, what I mean by how it spinning the barrel or going, making your hair go in the same direction as the barrel. Gosh, I can't make my brain keep up with my mouth tonight. That's really kind of messed up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in my hair. And I'm going to flip my hair like this so I can curl it. But what's happening is the barrel is spinning this way, but my hair is not. My hair is actually getting kicked right out of that barrel. You see that? Okay, so it's not really... I actually did a pretty decent curl like that. But you really want to make sure that it's going in the correct direction of the spin that your hair is. So I'm going to go ahead and recurl this, even though it, the curl is kind of cool. But I'm going to go ahead and redo this in the correct direction. So to make it go in the correct direction, I'm going to use my left hand. Start it here. And I'm just pulling it through. And what I like to do is I like to leave it set on the end for a couple of seconds extra. Just to give it that little bit of curl. Okay. You guys see that? Okay. Let me do a little piece right behind it here. Do this guy. And really, you don't have to worry about taking teeny tiny little pieces. I mean, you can take decent sized pieces when you do this. Be very, very careful though, because this thing is very hot. And then, I'm going to flip it, pull it through, and I'm going to let it hang at the end for just a couple of seconds extra. Okay, so, you know, that's pretty much how I use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my hair. I'm going to um, actually speed through this since you guys get the gist of, you know, how I did these parts of my hair. And I'm going to do the rest of my hair the same way. When I get to the top, I'll go ahead and I'll come back and I will um, explain to you guys what I'm doing there because I do something a little bit different at the top to try to get a little more volume. So I'm going to speed up for a minute, but I'll be right back. Hold on. because along the top and the crown, I like a little bit of volume. Now, I don't get a lot of volume right now because I haven't had my hair trimmed in like two years, so it's not really gonna be um, really, really vol voluminous, but it's gonna be much better than what it is. So I do get a little bit of volume when I um, 
do this particular method on the top and the crown of my hair. So I'm going to take just a little back piece here. And what I do is I take it and I brush it forward. And then I take the barrel and hold the barrel to the back and do just a little bit of a curl, but pulling forward at the same time. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me slouch. <laughs> and then I'll pull it just straight up from there. My hair is getting so long I can't reach the ends anymore. <laughs> so it's getting kind of out of focus here. Okay, and you see I've got the curl right here in the back and then the volume at the crown. Okay, and it's not like the best volume because like I said I haven't had my hair trimmed in a while, but it is definitely much better than what it is when I don't use this tool. Okay, and again, I'm going to go to the section just right in front of it, and I'm going to brush it forward, barrel to the back, and again, pull forward and twist. I'm going to let it hang there at the, at the scalp for a minute, not touching the scalp because it's going to burn. Okay. Again, pulling forward. And volume. I know it looks funny right now, but it won't when I'm done. Then I'm going to take this front piece here. This little scraggly front pieces. Now this front piece here is really hard for me to style because he has a widow's peak right there, which causes a little calic. So my hair always wants to flop to one side or the other. So this part is a little difficult. Now this thing tends to tame it just a little bit. down a hair. Alright, so you guys can see I have a little bit more volume than what I started with and then I'm just going to take my fingers and run my fingers through it and just kind of place it where I want it. I'm a little bit staticky tonight, guys. All right, and this is the finished look I get when I use my end styler. So, yeah, I absolutely love it. And once I get my hair trimmed and I get the layers put back into my hair, it'll style even better than this. But I do absolutely love the look that I get from using my end styler. So, guys, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, you can look me up on my website at www.rockfabulousonline.com. You can look me up on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Tumblr, all under Rock Fabulous 40s. And guys, please hit subscribe down there somewhere, and you too can rock your fabulous 40s, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.